Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. I have been blessed with a multitude of prophetic dreams, and almost every one of these was about the tribulation. And it seems that almost all of these dreams involved America. I have only had a few dreams that were not specifically about America. Uh, even though this dream involved the whole earth, what I was shown was that uh, how this event involved America. Because America is Babylon, and Babylon has a special judgment that is just now revealing itself. And now, now you can see it coming. So read Jeremiah 51 and Revelation 17 and 18. This is all about God's wrath being poured out upon Babylon, America. God's judgment comes as it is written. It will be done. I saw people, but they could not see or hear me. It was like I was an insect flying around. So I was there in spirit only. I had a dream, and I have a, a strong conviction that this dream was in the tribulation as uh, I saw people possessed by many demons. The timing of the events, the things that were happening, I firmly believe what I was shown was in the tribulation after the rapture. I was shown in another dream uh, that in the tribulation, many billions of nasty demons will be released upon the earth. And these demons were very, very bad. And, uh, and they had been held back until the tribulation. These demons will inhabit many people, making them do unspeakable things. Things that people would never, ever consider doing today. And if it were not for the demons who inhabit and own these people, uh, they reside in these people, and these demons would make these people do unspeakable things. I saw many small groups of young men, usually three or four, and sometimes as many as five or six, six but rarely uh, were there over six men in a group. There seemed to be no leader, but they acted like pack animals, hunting together, acting more on instinct rather than uh, like a thinking, rational human being. They ran naked through the streets and suburbs, usually at night, and the, the hot or the cold did not seem to bother them at all. Although I never saw them in the daylight, that did not mean that they were not there. They ate the flesh of the dead and of the dying, and they many times would eat their victims while they were still alive. They acted more like animals than humans. I never heard them speak a word, but I dear, did hear them make animal noises that no human being could ever make. They seemed to run everywhere they went. Uh, there was no uh, discussion. They would just run to a house, and they would smash a window or smash in a door and run in and, and smash, bash, or knife everyone in the home, and then they would eat the people in the home like an animal would eat. They would eventually kill every living thing in the home and then run to the next home and do it all over again. Home after home, I saw these gangs of men do this, do this to all, all across America. They did this out of a rage, a rage against what they considered the establishment. Now, there was no power, no cell phones, no video games, no TV, no internet, and this drove them mad, and they took their rage out on the people they ran across. A few months before these, uh, these young men, they were on their cell phones doing who knows what, but now that is all gone. Now, I never saw any women in these gangs. I do not know if that is significant or not, but that does not mean that there were not women in, uh, in some of these gangs. If there were women involved, you can uh, be just as uh, sure that they were as, as violent as the men. 
Now they contorted their bodies into impossible shapes that no normal human being could ever achieve. Seeing these men, you would instantly know that they were totally possessed, taken over, controlled by many demons. And they would scream like animals, making animal noises that no human being could ever make. Those sounds would make your blood run cold if you heard it. They reminded me of the videos of the people on that drug called Flacca. They had no fear, no pain, and they would smash their head into and through a car windshield. And that is what these people did, just like they were on that drug called Flacca. The difference was these men ran in small groups and acted as one with one purpose and one goal, and that was to terrorize, to kill, and to eat flesh. The groups of men doing this was was many and dispersed all over the country. In small communities to major cities, they were everywhere. <clears throat> and they all seemed to show up at about the same time, and probably all over the world at about the same time. They all seemed to become possessed roughly about the same time, and they did this gruesome work of Satan at the same time as well. The only weapons that I saw them carry was sticks and clubs, tire irons, knives, uh, and they possess superhuman strength, as it would take six up to eight men to hold one of these people down. If you tried to stop them with force, that was almost impossible, as they had no feeling, they felt no pain, they felt nothing, no pity, no remorse, no conscience, nothing. And only a catastrophic head wound would stop them. A stab wound, uh, or a catastrophic wound to the heart, would not phase them for several minutes. It would eventually kill them, but not before they did what damage they could do. And just like zombies we see in the movies, I wonder where they got their information from. But this is real. And if you miss the rapture, you probably will encounter these people. I was born for this time right now. My mission is to warn you of what is to come. And if you find yourself in the tribulation, now you know a little of what you can expect. The Bible warns, the prophets warn, warn God-fearing, Holy Spirit-filled preachers, they warn. And now God calls up the watchmen to warn as well. So you have been warned. Jesus said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Today, in these last days, no truer words were ever spoken. And you are not promised tomorrow. Repent of sin today, right now. Admit that you are a sinner in need of a Savior. Confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, is the Son of God, and walk this earth as God in the flesh, who was crucified, and who shed his precious blood, and who died for you on an old wooden cross, for me and for you to pay our sin debt that we could not pay. And that same Jesus was buried, but on the third day he arose from the grave, and he walked this earth again. And Jesus ascended up to heaven inside of men, and now Jesus sits on the right hand of the Father, awaiting his glorious and triumphant return. Pray the blood of Jesus washes away all of your sins, washes you clean, washes you white as snow. And beg Jesus to enter into your heart and give you a new heart, and be with you all the days that you have left on this earth. Yes, the rapture is very soon, and we all need to be ready. Remember that what you say and what you do in these last days is so vitally important, more important than you could ever know. If you would like to do a little work for God, consider leaving King James Bibles in print or on DVD in hospital or doctor's office waiting rooms, and we will supply you with the King James Bibles uh, on DVD in plastic cases, and you can leave these in restaurants uh, at the cash register as well. Now we always ask permission first, and we have, we have never been told no. If you will do this little work for the Lord, you will be blessed. And if the Holy Spirit puts it in your heart to support this ministry, God's ministry, all we ask is that you be faithful to the Holy Spirit. Our work that God has us doing is getting these King James Bibles in any format into as many hands as possible before they are made illegal. As that day is approaching, when the word of God will be made illegal, just like it says in Amos 8, 11, and 12. So we will work for the Lord. Who do you work for? And on that day, we will see you in paradise, on streets of pure gold, 
and we will walk beside the crystal sea, and we will see Jesus face to face, and Jesus will hold each one of us in his loving arms, just like he held me. And God will wipe away every tear, and there will be no more pain, no more suffering, and we all will have new glorified but young bodies, and we will live with God, and he will be our light, our warmth, and he will supply every need. Our, he will be our everything forever and ever. Amen. So I'm asking, will you join us? Or will you be fighting off demons, demon-infested people back here on this earth? Every one of you have been a gift from God to us in this ministry from Almighty God. And we give thanks, and we give glory and honor to God Most High, as I am only the dust of the earth, but I am God's dirt. Amen. And we pray that God's will be done. God is perfect, and God's last day's plan is perfect as well. And in the tribulation, you have the wrath of God poured out upon the people, and you have the wrath of Satan poured out upon the people, and the people being caught in the middle. I have wept bitterly over what I have been shown. I have warned, and I have warned, and I have warned. If you are not saved, if you are not washed in the blood, born again, I beg you, I beg you, please get right with God. Our time is so short. Our time is so short. Our time is so short. This, this world has nothing to offer us anymore. It can't offer us peace, security, safety. It can't offer them things. But God can offer them things. We just have to trust in God and trust in His last day's plan. As God is perfect, His last day's plan is perfect as well. And as God loved His children in the desert, and as God parted the Red Sea for them and fed them manna from heaven for 40 years, God will take care of His children here today as well, because He loves His children here today ever bit as much as He loved His children in the desert. We keep all of you in our prayers. We love you all so very much. Every single one of you have been a blessing, absolute blessing to us in this ministry. And we love you all so very much.